Hello, welcome back. This is Kenshin1913, and we are Let's Playing Dragon Quest IX. In the last episode, we began to fight a Mandrake Marauder. No, I'm just kidding. Um, yeah, these guys are probably susceptible to Dragon Slash. And anyways, yeah, we came up to Up Rover, Up Over, and we're going to see Grey now, but we have to go through the Magmaru in order to find them now. Where am I going? I don't even know where I'm going. Let's go down first. No, we want to go up. Up? I don't know what the hell I'm doing. Like I said, it's been a while since I've been in here. Alright, you can steal bandit blades and dragon scales. Where the hell are uh, and Dragon scales from those dragon guys. And lava lumps from the other ones. From alive lava guys. Alright, yeah, I did come the right way. Yay! Finally, a smart decision made by Kenshin1913. And we go upstairs to get mini metal and run away. Okay, cool. Yeah, you can steal dragon scales from them as well. The uh, the Mandrake Marauders. So yeah, this is pretty cool. You get to go on the outside of the volcano get a file of saints ashes. Okay, yeah, from Hell Ninos you can steal Kongluit and Flame Shield. That's where I got that one one time. Yeah, th th this dungeon is a tiny bit longer, but... Oh, uh oh here's a new enemy. Yeah, remember these guys for later, too. Magma Lice. But, um... Yeah, this is probably a little longer of a dungeon. Although we're almost done. We're about halfway through. The next part's probably the biggest part. Uh-oh, you're increasing your tension. Too bad you won't be able to use it. Cause I'm gonna kill ya. Kill you! Alright, cool. So let's go upstairs. Yeah, but remember those guys for later. Oh, don't step on the lava. The floor's lava. And if we come over here, we can uh, get some ch some pots, but sadly there's barely anything good in them. Uh-oh. Oh, you know what? Let's show off this battle, because there's a new enemy, Mega Mo Moa. Now these guys, again, remember them for later, because... Well, the Mega Moas... There's a quest that we need uh, these guys to hit us a bunch, I think. But yeah, look at that. Look at that dragon mane. It's totally kicking A. I think we fought Mega Moas before, actually. Over in that one area. Oh no, maybe we missed. We didn't fight them, but but uh. All right, we want to go this way. Green dragons. Ooh, look at that symbol on the on the ground. Looks cool. Yeah, I think we just mi dodged the Mega Moas and we never actually fought them. But yeah, they can breathe a fire breath. Like most of the enemies here, will do some sort of fire breath attack. So if you have insulate with your healer, ooh, a Hades helm. We can actually make that into something better. I think. I'm pretty sure it's cursed. Nothing down here. Do, 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 do. Anything up here? Nah. But yeah. So most of these people cast fire stuff. So if you have insulate, that's very good to use with your priest or ranger. Alright, we're pretty much done with this area now. I'll probably heal up Maytel in a moment. Let us see. Yeah, but it'd have been pretty cool. It would have been pretty cool if they could have had different music here. And this area obviously reminds me of the volcano that we had to 
that we had to deal with back in Dragon Quest V, except that was more deadly. Hands down, more deadly. And we had to go get the Ring of Fire. Do 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 do. Ah, from those magma lice guys, you can steal Hephaestus flames. So that's pretty sweet. And now actually, I think we can warp to the summit. Now that we're on the top of Magma Root. Which is very cool. Hopefully we'll meet Graynar. How could some dude live in this place? I mean, it'd be hot for a guy. And here we are. Uh, me? It's me, Kenshin. The, uh, the guy. What the hell? Whoa. It's a dragon! It's a big badass dragon. Whoa. Uh oh. This guy is Grey Gnarl? From what everyone was saying, it sounded like he was a... He was a dude, but Grey Gnarl is actually a dragon. No, I'm not from the Giddish Empire. No. No, man. Uh-oh. <laughs> Now we gotta fight Grey Gnarl. Now this guy's pretty easy. Especially if you have the Dragon Bane. And uh, not only that, but Dragon Slash. That will help out quite a bit. So let's use Giddy Diddy. Let's psych ourselves up. We're gonna. Oh man, you're gonna see some damage. This is gonna be beautiful. Psych up and what the hell, insulate. Yeah, this is the minstrel's manual at work right here. Oh man, I think it's like the Timbrel of Tension. Oh, this is gonna be sweet. Well, it's not. Nah, it's not like the Timbrel of Tension. Ah, look at that. Thank you, Insulate. There we go. Now, let's use that. Oh, whoa. That cost 16? Damn, alright, well, we can't do that anymore, but let's, let's use Dragon Slash, let's like, uh, let's just have her, no, 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 Helm Splitter, where is it, and have her insulate again, ah, yes. Now, yeah, if you do it twice, it'll increase it by a lot. Yay! Look at that, 300 damage. And I didn't even psych up for that. Um... Let's use... Where the hell is it? Double up. Let's use Psych up one more time, Helm Splitter, and why not? You can attack. There we go. Oh, you know why I should have made Tell use Wave of Weakening, the Weakening Wave. Although he goes last anyway, it doesn't really matter. All right, now let's use uh, Dragon Slash. And let's use, where is it? Hard Claw, Elm Splitter. Yeah, this increases magical might, so it's no good for um, MP, or healers, but that's all right. I thought I gave her the weakening wave, oh well. Bam! Look at that. 500 damage.
Oh, you missed. Yeah, but Green Arl's not that hard. Yeah, let's just keep using hard claws. I seriously, I thought she had it, but that's all right. Dead. Great, Gnarl, if, if you can't even beat us, you can't beat the Giddish Empire. I'm sorry, buddy. You can't. Yeah, I don't want to kill you, man. You're the hero of the heavens. What the hell are you doing up here? Yeah, well, you know, he, well, he... Yeah, Barnabas is Barabas. Whatever the hell his name is. Barbarous. He's back. We need your help to beat him. Yeah, I could totally use your help. See now we can go to Magma Root the summit. So let's head let's head back downtown. Alright, so let us make sure we're healed up. Alright, cool. And you know what? I'm gonna give this minstrel thing over to Ira. Where are the other manuals, damn it? They should be in here. Martial arts manuals should be with Nino at all times. Mage's manual should be with I uh, Maytel. And do we get any Thief's theory should be with with Ira, damn it. Why do they take that crap out? I don't know. But let's go up to up over again. Uh oh, what the heck's going on? There's... Hey, guard man! Yeah, what the hell? Where these guys come on? Where they come from? Yeah, what the hell? Who are you jerks? Who are you a-holes? Oh, you're from the Giddish Empire, the jerks. No, you're not you're not coming here to fight Grey Gnarl. Uh oh. Now we have to fight the Fright and uh, some Stench Turians and the Fright Knight. Although the Fright Knight looks like uh, Matilda from Dragon Quest 7. Oh shoot, I know what I could use. Why am I doing this? Alright. Let's have Kenshin and Nino attack. Let's have them use the 
gritty ditty, and I want her to use Rod Stopper. Oh, what? Yay! Uh, so what you want to do is take out these Stentorians first, and then we'll take out the Fright Knight. Ah, uh, it's too bad this stuff costs MP. Let's use Falcon Slash. Hard Claw. Let's show off Weakening Wave. Ooh, nice block. Oh yeah. Take this, huh? Weakening wave. Aw, oh, bull crap. There we go, the Fright Knight is defeated. Yeah, not much of a boss battle. But what could these bozos possibly have wanted? His gore ship. Who the hell is a gore ship? Is that some sort of... Uh-oh. It's this guy. Hootenam Gore! But what is he gonna do to this town and us and everything? And Can we convince Grey Gnarl to help us out? We'll have to find out in the next episode. I'm Kitch1913. See you later. Bye-bye.